think that cooking salmon is difficult. Well, I'm going to show you that it's really easy and very fast. And a good healthy meal for you and your family. Here we go. First, you need to unthaw, completely unthaw your salmon. And I use Alaskan salmon that I buy from Sam's Club. And uh, you're going to use what I like to call garlic and herb seasoning and sprinkle that on here. You're going to sprinkle it on the front and the back of your salmon. Once you've sprinkled that, next you'll need Tony's. You're going to sprinkle that on the front and the back. This is a light sprinkle. Or bigger and drilly. Uh-oh. And once you sprinkle that on the front and back of your salmon, next you're going to need some olive oil. I keep mine in the bag because it likes to drip on everything. You're going to pour it in the top and drizzle. Zoom in over here. Drizzle that. I'm going to use three capfuls. Light drizzle. And you have to make sure that your oven is preheated to 350. Okay, that's three drizzles of olive oil. And if you really if you really want to get fancy, you can take a graham cracker, put it in the bag, crumple it up, and then you're going to smush that on the top like so. Might not take your full graham cracker, just depends on how much you would like. Now the next key to making this salmon come out right, you must make sure, make sure not to overcook it. You're going to put it in the oven and you're going to only cook it for 15 minutes. Okay, while that is cooking, I also have here some frozen green beans that I also get from Sam's Club and frozen onions. Sometimes we chop our onions ourselves and sometimes I just buy some frozen onions. It just depends on how I feel. <clears throat> and I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. Okay. And I'm also going to use my trusty garlic and herb again. And a little bit of Iodized sea salt. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Just sprinkle that there. And we are going to fry that on the stove. Now, I'm also going to make some instant mashed potatoes. So I'm going to start my milk, water, and butter there to cook while this is cooking for 15 minutes. There you go. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I have um, less than three minutes for my salmon to cook, but in the meantime, I am now going to finish my mashed potatoes. Okay. And we like for our string beans to really get a little uh, overcooked, but that's just how we like our string beans, a little crunchy. Those I'm going to let cook a little bit longer than the two minutes we have left. I would usually start the string beans first before I even put my salmon in the oven. But I want you all to see how I do it. Usually the string beans, I'm going to stir those quite a bit in this 15 minutes. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put him down so you guys can see what happens when I put him down. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, he's being good for this second. Just because I said he was not going to be good. Zip up my potatoes here. Okay, 
Okay, in my mashed potatoes, even though they're instant, I also added some garlic and herbs and some chives, chives in here. Just because we like a little something extra. Okay, we have one minute left. String beans are almost where we like them. We can zoom in on here. They're still not crunchy, but they're done for most people that uh, would eat their string beans regularly. This is done. I'm just going to continue to cook them. Okay, 28 seconds before I take that salmon out of the oven. And remember, it is always best to cook and wash the dishes as you go. So that when your food is done, 15 minutes are up, your cleaning is done. Let's see what we have here. Look at that salmon. All done. Now the biggest trick to the salmon is do not poke and prod it to say, oh, is this done? I don't know. Does it look done? It's done. 15 minutes, take it out and it'll be nice and juicy and delicious. All right. And we are all done. I'm going to take a picture of it all as a blended meal for you. And it was all done in 15 minutes. So you have a healthy dinner that's done in 15 minutes. Of course, it's going to take you a little extra to thaw out the salmon. Again, remember to thaw it out completely. Because if you try to season it and cook it before it's thawed out, it's not going to cook right. So it has to be fully thawed. And be right back with that complete plate for you in just a second. All right, the meal is all ready and prepared. So take a look and see. 15 minute meal. All done. The uh, graham crackers are going to make it stick to the pan just a little bit more if you're going to use those. Again, graham crackers are not necessary. Graham crackers are not a necessary addition to your meal, just some, a little spruce. Um, the salmon tastes really good without it. I have a sleepy guy over here, so I'm going to put him to sleep. And my husband and I are going to enjoy our dinner. Peace.